Hi everyone, we have a very special fitness challenge for you. This one is brought to you by Sante. It's called the Sante Family Fitness Challenge. Now, of course, there's the word family there, but I like to treat my friends and of course my athletes as family, so I'm including them in this video series. So what's it about? It's very simple. We just basically have to do push-ups and sit-ups across seven days with increasing increase the difficulty as we go along. Now we have a special guest who will join us tonight for the very first day. I don't think she needs any introduction because she's one of the strongest uh, age groupers we have here in the tri community, in the multi sport community. Her name is Kat Lagunsan. <laughs> so, hi Kat, how are you? And hi, hello. Yeah, hello, hello, hello. I'm really uh, glad to be here and get to do the workout challenge with you, coach. Salamat naman at so makita ko may mga commercial ka na konti na lang ano ka na celebrity ka na baka hindi mo na maka kami makalimutan. <laughs> I don't think so grabe yung commercial. But I'm really so excited to be here. So yeah. Wag mo ako mapahirapan ko. Baka mamaya kung ano wala. Oh, hindi naman favorite kita pahirapan at yun rin naman yung reason kung bakit malakas ka din. <laughs> Sabi ko na nga ba. <laughs> so anyway, um to cut to the chase, our goal right now is to do 10 repetitions ng push-ups and ng sit-ups. And before okay. we do that, I'm just gonna show you how to do the push-up properly. So it's a very powerful tool in your arsenal because it engages the chest, the core, even your glutes and your legs. But not a lot of people know how to do it properly. So we're gonna start off by doing the plank position. Okay? So yung plank position na yan, of course, hindi dapat nakasag yung hips or nakataas yung pwet. Dapat neutral, flat. Now, ikaw, Kat, I guess you want to do it na nakaduhod. Oh, yeah. diba? So, nakaplan yeah. yung mo. Tama? So, yes. you could maybe join me now and uh, okay. uh, push-up position. So, you could, again, you could do this whether using the traditional push-up form. Or you could do a modified push-up by planting your knee. On top okay. of that, you could also modify it. Kung hindi mo pa talaga kaya mag-push-up, you could have a bench or a chair and do the push-up from there. So mas mataas siya, ibig sabihin, hindi kasing hirap. So as long as you get to do the workout that suits your abilities, then it's okay. Alright? So after mounting uh, or performing the the plank position or the uh, the knee position like this. Just make sure that your hands are slightly shoulder width apart. Okay, so okay. that's gonna help us generate more force. You see a lot of people with hands close together or wide apart. Of course, you know, to, to each your own, but this is the most basic and the most fundamental way of doing it. And I would say it's it's the um, position or the way of doing it that works the best. Okay? So, shoulder width apart yung hands. Now, one thing that you should also remember is that you should engage your glutes para hindi magsag yung hips mo. And on top of that, yung, yung neck mo has to be neutral. So, you don't look up, you don't look down like that. Neutral lang. Relaxed. And as you're doing that, yung shoulder blades mo dapat medyo close together or Try and engage your the middle of your back para mag maglapit yung shoulder blades mo. So that's gonna allow you to uh, perform the movement better. Okay. So as you go down, your elbows dapat hindi sobrang buka or hindi rin sobrang dikit. So may konting oh, yeah. gap between your body. Okay. So if you're if you want to be technical about it, you don't have to be uh, don't go above forty five degrees out. Okay, so mga 25 or 30 degrees, okay na yan. Raramdaman mo naman kung medyo hindi tama. Alright? So, okay. Let's start with the first repetition. We'll do it gradually. And just, um, siguro I'll give the cue na lang. No? Okay, ready, set, okay. go. One. Okay. Two. Three. 
course, you can go down as low as you can. Lower, better. Okay. Pero kung hindi mo pa kaya, kahit half push-ups muna. Okay? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Okay, so that's the first part of the workout. The next one is, of course, the sit-up. So, important naman yung sit-up. Tama rin yung form natin. So, when you do the sit-up, just make sure that your feet are planted on the ground. Yung knees mo, pwedeng nasa close to 45 degree angle. Kasi hindi sobrang lapit, hindi rin sobrang layo. If you need someone to assist you, pwede niyang hawakan okay. yung knees mo para hindi umangat. But if you're doing it properly, you wouldn't really feel na umaangat yung paa mo. Kasi the reason why that happens is because people tend to engage their hip flexors too much instead of engaging their abdomen. So, again, if it goes up at hindi mo siya makontrol, you need to reevaluate how you're doing it. Okay? Okay. Once you... Alright, we'll be doing it now? Yes, you could, ano na, you could okay. start now with the sit-up position. Alright? Sige. Okay. okay. So try and uh, siguro lapit pa pa ng konti yung yung feet mo para planted siya sa ground, cat. Lapit pa konti. Yan. All right. So okay, let's plant your lower back on the ground. Dapat nakalapat siya. In fact, you could drive it down para mas may leverage ka. And then our goal is to lift okay. your shoulder blades off the ground. That's all you need to do a proper setup. So you see a lot of people going too high. Again, okay. that's a fancy way of doing it. Pero what happens when you go above that particular range? Ang mas na engage na again yung hip flexor. So it, I'm not saying it's bad for some people with lower back problems. Possibly, hindi siya okay. Pero actually, the most effective part of the setup is this part. So you just need to make sure that your shoulder blades are off the ground. You could put your Hi, hands right? behind your behind your neck or behind the back of your head, just make sure that you don't pull up. Kasi if you pull up, mas strain yung neck mo. At ginadaya mo na kasi arms na yung gumagana. Okay? Alright. Relax lang. And your elbows can be wide apart like this or close together. Just remember na hindi ka ihila. Okay? So, let's start with the first repetition. And one, two. Now remember, hindi dapat hindi mo dapat ibabaksak yung katawan mo after the repetition. So okay, the starting position gradually. Then okay, let's continue. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and last one, ten. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> ten reps for the first day. Uh, Good morning, ten lang. Oh, ten lang muna. Pero bukas mas marami na. So tomorrow we're gonna do sixteen, and we have another guest that will join us tomorrow. Of course, Kat will do it on her own. You could follow her. Then as she do as she does it, and we're also challenging a few of our friends to continue this because again the goal of doing this routine is because we want people to be more aware of the importance of exercise and wellness. And sometimes the first step is actually the hardest. So if you do this, kay ten reps lang siya, notice mo, oi kaya pala. So um, that can kickstart your fitness journey as well. Okay, so I'm sure the people who are watching this, hindi naman to, hindi naman lahat athletic or hindi naman lahat triathlete or matakbo, and this will definitely help you, especially during this time. Because yung alam mo naman kat, de ba yung the exercise it really helps us not just get healthier and stronger. It also helps us deal with things like stress, anxiety, etc. Yes, yes, definitely. Mm. Oh, diba? Kaya, coming straight from work, nag-workout na ako with you, coach, because definitely, 
working out helps relieve stress talaga like after a long day oh saka ano man naman pag ganyan di ba that where we don't really have a lot of exercise kasi hindi na nga tayo lumalabas ng bahay or work yes, work home exactly. lang so we need to put in some extra work when it comes to this all right yes. sige thanks cat for joining me tonight or joining us and we're really looking forward to see you, to seeing you on the podium again once races resume. So we're gonna count on that. And ngayon palang pinagahanda na natin yan, di ba? Of course, coach. Ayan. So thanks, Kat, for again um, giving us your time. So of course, everyone, stay safe and always think positive. But of course, stay negative. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye.